What is going on, Knicks fans? Welcome back to Knicks Media. My name is Richie, and we have a hypothetical three-team trade that Bleacher Report came out with that I wanted to react to and share my thoughts. Now, we talked about this Julius Randle trade situation a few days ago here on Knicks Media. Brian Winnenhurst of ESPN was the one to say that the Knicks could very easily move Randle's contract. So I want to share my thoughts of this hypothetical trade. Does it make sense for the New York Knicks? And more importantly, I want to hear your thoughts in the comment section down below. Got to give a shout out to BetUS for powering today's show. We'll hear more about BetUS later on. Now, I got to break down this hypothetical trade. I'll leave the link to the article down below in the description if you want to check it out for yourself. But here it is. Okay, the Knicks do a three-team trade. And the headline of this article, which is interesting, a three-team trade, Julius Randle, that would get the New York Knicks to bite. So apparently this is going to be a trade that they're going to pitch to us that's going to get, that's going to benefit the New York Knicks. Okay, now I'll be the judge of that. Now you guys know me. I'm pretty, ad, ad, you know, I'm pretty consistent with my take here that I don't think the New York Knicks should be trading away Julius Randle. I simply don't think it'd be smart. I understand that he's entering potentially a contract year. We won't get anything in return if he leaves. But I think that the New York Knicks should just stay put and keep him on this team for a win-now season. Now, getting into the article, this is the actual three-team trade. All right, so the Knicks get Grant Williams, Nick Richards from the Charlotte Hornets, a $15.9 million trade exception, and a $2.1 million trade exception, which allows them to trade away Randall and Sims, who the Charlotte Hornets will get in return. The Wizards are also involved in this deal. They'll get Josh Green, Cody Martin. Some draft picks are involved. So the we're sending our 2025 Wizards pick and our 2025 protected first rounder. Okay? I hate this. I, I hate I hate it. I get it. Grant Williams, he's a solid player. He's young. Nick Richards helps out the Knicks from a front court perspective. But I would hate this. We're giving up two first rounders and Julius Randle, and that's what we're getting in return. Bro, Randle is valued way more than this. I mean, that's why I wanted to make this video. I saw this, and I'm like, bro, w what are these hypothetical trades that everybody keeps talking about with the Knicks? Especially this one. The headliner says that this would get the Knicks to bite. Are you kidding me? How would this make the Knicks bite on this? Now, again, I understand that if the Knicks don't trade Julius, then he may move himself in free agency, opt out of his contract. I get all of that, and the Knicks may not get anything in return, but, bro, I'd rather go all in and keep our all-star, our multi-time all-star on this team than to give up assets in the draft and Randall, just to get back Grant Williams and Nick Richards? You kidding me? I don't know. Am I in the minority here? Do you guys feel like this trade would benefit the Knicks? Am I not seeing something valuable here? Because I'm looking at that, and I'm like, there's nothing on that trade that's getting me excited. There's nothing about that trade that's getting me pumped up. I don't think Leon Rose would make this trade either, if we're being honest with ourselves. Do you guys think that this is something that the Knicks should consider? Do, like. I really don't think that Knicks fans are expecting this. If you are a Knicks fan that's expecting this, please, please, please feel free to let me know in the comments because I don't see anything that makes this beneficial for the New York Knicks. But let me know your thoughts in the comments because I don't see it, but maybe I'm not. Maybe you guys can enlighten me. Maybe you can enlighten me how that can improve this Knicks team for the now and the future. I'm not worried about the future. I'm, fo I'm focusing on this season which is an NBA championship season potentially, okay? That's how I look at it. Now, got to give a shout-out to BetUS for powering today's show. They have a new deal on BetUS, which is awesome. You guys can get not only just a 125%, now it's 150% bonus on your first three deposits, up to $2,000. If you use the promo code YouTube150, all right? That's promo code YouTube150. Now, if you look at their odds, you can predict the exact... NBA Finals matchup. Now, I thought this is an interesting bet they got because you got great value here. You got the Knicks, of course, if you want to predict them making to the NBA Finals. If you predict them to face off against the Thunder, it's at plus 2,200. Against the Timberwolves, plus 2,800. The Nuggets, plus 2,500. 
The Mavericks, if they repeat Western Conference champions, plus 2,500. Well, obviously, the Knicks got to get there first, right? But I found these odds very interesting because they're really, really good odds. They also have awesome you know, football odds, of course, football season is here. I know this is a, a basketball channel, but if you guys are into football, they got the NFL odds out there for week number one. If you guys want to sign up for BetUS, receive a 150% sign-up bonus on your first three deposits, up to $2,000 by using promo code YouTube150. Shout out to BetUS. Now, I am going to just go out on a limb and say this. The Knicks should not trade Julius Randle. And I, I challenge anybody in the comment section to tell me why they should. I just challenge somebody to tell me that there's somebody out there that can make this team better. I don't want to trade Randall and I look up and the Knicks regressed. Especially giving up two first-round picks and giving up Randall and we're getting back Grant Williams and Nick Richards? Really? No disrespect to those players, but they don't even come close to the talent and the impact that Randall has on this team. That's why I had to make this video. I saw that article. And I'm like, I, I have to make a, a video just roasting that potential trade because I don't understand how this is even a possibility. So please, Knicks fans, enlighten me. Let me know your thoughts of this hypothetical three-team trade that lands the Knicks, those players, and the Knicks giving up Randall, Sims, and two first-round picks. I don't see it, but let me know if you do. Let me know in the chat also. Tomorrow is the Brunson and Hart event in Central Park, the Roommate Show podcast. I will be in attendance. If you guys are going to be there, let me know. I would love to meet up with some Knicks fans. It's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be like a Knicks fan conven convention out there tomorrow night, so I can't wait to be there. Hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day. My name is Richie from Knicks Media. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Hit the like button if you enjoyed. Next season is right around the corner, baby. Let's go. I'll see you guys in the next video. Shout out to BetUS for powering today's show. YouTube 150 is the code to get the 150% bonus. Peace out, folks. Love you all.